Okay, so not having it back with our new series, Gold Every Gun in Modern Warfare 3. I'm going to be playing Hardcore Kill Confirmed on Bootleg, one of my favorite maps. I, I mean, it doesn't... If you look at this match, it doesn't look like this is one of my favorite maps, but it is. Okay, I like this map. I don't like a lot of the things that they have put in this game, especially on the Hardcore side. I don't like the fact that they have... Um, that they don't let you know that there's a grenade near you in hardcore like they do on uh i guess regular core is what they call it uh if they if they're not gonna tell you that there's a grenade near you they should probably just take grenades out of hardcore because it's it's just it's not fair for you to just get blown up by a grenade because you can't always hear i mean you can hear the simtex and you can hear the the tink tink tingling of the the regular grenade but if you're playing regular core then you know you have the grenade thing i never knew this was an atm right there if you have regular core you have the grenade icon that comes up on the screen but in hardcore you're kind of screwed i don't like that i wish they would either have the grenade icon in hardcore or um just take grenades out i wouldn't be it wouldn't change my perception of this game in a negative way if they took explosives out of hardcore mode altogether because it's too easy for somebody to just sit back and shoot an rpg or noob tube or throw grenades for that matter and get easy kills in hardcore uh i also don't like how if i throw a grenade at somebody i get a hit marker i don't it used to be like if you just sneeze on somebody and in hardcore they die now you get hit markers like i shoot i'm shooting people and i'm getting hit markers in hardcore i don't understand how that's even possible i don't know whether they just changed that or whether it's something that i didn't notice before but i don't like oh, it fuck. i don't like it at all i don't understand uh um i also want them to take out the the uh what is it the bulletproof vest that they have in hardcore that doesn't make any sense either Infinity War just needs to sit down and take out a bunch of stuff out of hardcore to truly make it hardcore. If you run around and you have a bulletproof vest on, let's say you have a bulletproof vest on and you have, um, what is that, that thing, that like a blast shield perk. If you have that on, I mean, it's, it's you, you basically have taken away the hardcore aspect of playing in hardcore. So why are you, why should you have that much of an advantage? Uh, take out that the, the bulletproof vest take out the perk that allows you to survive explosions take out uh, explosives or at least give you a grenade indicator when a grenade is near you and you can have a true hardcore mode I enjoy playing uh, hardcore kill confirmed and I started playing hardcore because a lot of other people that I play with do play on hardcore especially in my clan or people that I work with people that I know they play on hardcore. I can jump back in uh, regular core. I, is it regular core? Or is it soft core? I'm gonna call it soft core. <laughs> I'm gonna go with that. Uh, I can play soft core, but it doesn't. Uh, the two is too much of a transition between the two of them to really get into the groove. So after a couple matches, I'll be back to being used to shooting people a million times in soft core for them to die. Whereas in hardcore. You, you just play a little bit different. You got to be quicker on your trigger in, in, in hardcore because you die easily. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm playing with the, uh, let's see here. I'm playing with the, the M4. This is going to be one of the guns that I have not uh, got a gold yet, the M4A1. So I'm working with this one. When I started off, it was like a level two, I believe, because I played with it a little bit before. Uh, the only gun that I have... Uh, that I have gold already is the Scar L, so you won't see that gun. But the rest of them I haven't done. I think the uh, PP90 M1 is on 30 level 30 right now. And if anybody else has played this game, getting up to level 30 is fairly easy and quick. But as soon as you get to level 30, it's a marathon. It's literally a marathon. I don't understand why they did that. They could easily have made it equal amongst all levels of the gun. 
between levels 1 and 31 but whatever anyway um pp 90 m1 is at level 30 and i think that's about the only gun that i have that's actually leveled up that high uh there are some here and there that have been leveled up but for the most part i'll be starting off from scratch especially with the uh the lmgs the shotguns and the sniper rifles i'm really looking forward to that i think i'm going to end up putting the ACOG sight on the sniper rifle to see if that works out any better that right there was some bull crap i knifed that guy he should have died but anyway they also need to take out tactical insertion out of hardcore kill confirmed at least but whatever uh i catch enemies kill i i, I catch enemies tactical insertions more than i don't so it doesn't matter anyway yeah um the m4a1 is going to be the the gun of choice right now uh if you guys have any site any type of preference as of what other gun what gun I, that you want to see me use next please let me know drop a uh, a comment uh the most comments that i get for a certain type of gun is the gun that i'll use i will involve you guys into this process i just picked this gun just to throw out the the series and get it get it rolling but let me know what guns do you um what specific gun would you like to see me get a gold in? Uh, whether it be the assault rifle, sniper rifle, shotgun, or LMGs. Uh, it doesn't matter, man. You know, like I said, this is a series. Uh, I, I need you guys to support the series. Like the videos. Comment on the videos. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and spread the word. Uh, our other series is going to be kicking off pretty soon. And that's going to be Road to the 15th Prestige and Black Ops. I uh, recently just got to the fifth prestige fifth or six. I don't know. So Yeah, that one is gonna be rolling along as well. And um, if you prestige in black ops And I guess any call of duty the best way to level up early in the game is to play uh, search and destroy uh, I know in black ops each kill is 500 XP points. So if you get that, you can level up fairly quickly to where you can get some really good guns. But I'll talk about that in the other series. Anyway, this video is just about over. I think I went 17 to 19. Not my best match, but not my worst match either. Uh, let me know what guns you would like to see me gold next. It doesn't have to be the M4A1, uh, sniper rifle, shotgun, LMG, whatever. I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studios.